How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you are new to this channel, the reason why we do this, maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, so you wanna come here, watch this video, plus hear one of my corny jokes. So here it comes. How do you make antifreeze? You take away her blanket. <laughs> come on, antifreeze, make your antifreeze, come on. Fire. But anyways, what we're gonna be talking about is Ebon, SOS, and Hive. Ebon and Hive ended up having a strong day in the market, but we had some recent news that went down for SOS, which I feel is actually a really good thing. But one thing we also gotta remember, Bitcoin is doing a great job consolidating above the 21-day EMA line, and that's what we wanna see. So it's staying within those levels of 55 and going between 59. If it's consolidating that area, that means it's forming support. So one of the things we wanna look forward to is for that to continue so we can start seeing a strong move to the upside. Like I always say, I do believe Bitcoin is gonna be hitting 100K sometime this year or in the beginning of next year. So I'm always staying bullish, but I won't take any more of your time. We're gonna do the technical analysis for all three of these stocks. And then we're gonna go over the news that came out recently with SOS. And then I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be doing a technical analysis for a Hive blockchain. So as you can see, we ended up seeing lows on the day of $3.31 and ended up seeing highs at the day at $3.50. And overall, in general, Hive was up 1.74%. So as you can see clearly right here, we have a resistance level right here at this $3.00 and 45 cents area and it was great to see as it got near to the close high was able to just blast right through it and finishing the day at three dollars and fifty cents and we take a look at the levels of support that we've been seeing we definitely see that high does a great job bouncing off this three dollar and thirty cent area in this case bounced off three dollars and thirty five cents and then bounced off three dollars and 37 cents. So these are things that we love to see. So I would love to see Hive stay above that 21 day EMA, as you can see here at $3.41. Now, if we take a look at how it started in the beginning of the day, it was very strong. We ended up seeing another high, as you can see here, matching up with where it was at close, $3.50, but it spent more time in this particular area of $3.48. So as we take a look at the five day, five minute chart for Hive, as you can see back here on March the 25th, we're doing very well and we're definitely looking like we're making some moves towards the upside. I love how this pattern is looking at the moment. That's what I was saying before. In this support area of $3.35, you really can't go wrong for Hive in regards to building out a position or if you already have one already. Now, let's take a look at the three month one day chart. So as we kind of open it out just a little bit so we could see the overall trend, we already knew that it had quite the run up and then it's been correcting, but look what's happening. So we ended up touching the 50 day simple moving average and look at this, we bounced right off we talked a little bit about this yesterday, what we were looking for. And the fact that we see it making this move looks like it's about to reclaim this $3.58 area, which I'm definitely looking forward to seeing coming this week. That's right. I want to see Hive be able to get the $3.58 if it can actually finish the week. So all the way if we lead up into Friday, I would definitely like to see it finishing above $3.58. So we can continue that trend and we can start looking a lot more bullish. If it ends up pulling back, look for those areas, like I said, in the low $3.30 area or right here at the 50 day because things are looking good, especially for Bitcoin. And we already know Ethereum is doing fairly well as well. So taking all of this into consideration, it's definitely looking good for Hive and it's definitely one of those positions that are looking really good at the moment, especially with what's going on and so forth. So we're now on fintel.io and I wanted to show you guys for Hive blockchain what the short interest actually is. I don't think I've had the opportunity to do that as of yet. So if we take a look at the short volume ratio, it is at 47%. 
So as far as any other information here on Fintel, again, it's just updates on the short volume ratio. We can see here it's definitely going up in regards to when we take a look at the last day here from March the 24th going up to March 29th. We have literally have seen a change from 22.86, so it has more than doubled. So we could see in the past here on the 22nd, it was at 48%. So just knowing this and being aware of this, we already know a short squeeze will definitely happen for Hive when Bitcoin and Ethereum continue to run and especially when they get into the 60s and start making those moves to the targets that we have of a 100K. So definitely I'm going to keep you guys updated with this as more news comes forward. All right, so we're going to be doing a technical analysis for E. Bond. Overall on the day, it was up 9.72%, having lows of $6.95 and having a high of $8.02. So some good, good, good day for E-Bond. So if we take a look at what went down inside the pre-market today, we could definitely see clearly that we ended up having a resistance area here right at $7.60. But we did see we had some strong support here at $7.50. And 50 cents as we got right into the open we ended up having a strong sell-off and we ended up getting to a low of six dollars and 95 cents but we could definitely see that we had some support here all the way to 10 25 a.m at this seven dollar area so right at seven dollars and ten cents and so forth so when this area of support ended up moving up that's what we want to see so we see the next area of support started getting up to seven dollars and thirty cents and then the next area of support getting here at seven dollars and fifty cents and then where we come here reaching a high of $8.02. So this definitely ended up being a resistance area for the rest of the day. We tried testing it, but ended up having some selling pressure. Like I said, I'm not surprised a lot of people were taking profits. I know many have averaged down and so forth. Now, taking a look at what's going down in after hours, we can see it looks like we're definitely forming some support here right at $7.84. As you can see, that's right at the 21-day EMA as well. So if it could finish above the 21-day EMA, it will definitely be looking to continue this bullish pattern going into tomorrow. Now, let's take a look at the five-day, five-minute chart. Like I said, this sell-off that we had in the morning was a buying opportunity when we look at what has been going down recently for Ebon. We could see the last time we got down to these particular type of lows was all the way back on March the 25th, where we started to hit, we had the chance to hit a low of $6.68. And like I said, these are buying opportunities. You take a look even down here at the RSI, it is in the 30s. So when you see this, you already know. So now, what we need to start looking forward to, we already see that, you know what? Ebon did a great job finishing the day at $7.90. We want to see it come out tomorrow above $8.00. And then after reaching the next level of getting to $8.20, and then we can look forward to seeing some strong movement to $8.30 and so on. Now, if we take a look at the three-month, one-day chart to see what the overall pattern is actually looking like at the moment. So like we already noticed yesterday, the pattern ended up breaking, but look at this. We're starting to see look, the size of this candle. Sorry, I had to just stop for a moment and actually just, you know, be memorized by this. But anyways, so as you can see right here, we're definitely having this push up and I'm looking forward to seeing us catch back up here to the 21-day EMA at $8.33. And this is something I would love to see some time this week so we can get back on trend we have already known that there's definitely has been a pullback like i said this is a stock that is heavily manipulated just like sos so when it bounced off the 50 day that's exactly what we were looking for so now we're looking forward to actually get back on trend so we could start seeing some more moves to the upside and if it does pull back then at least we know in regards to how far it can pull back if it goes into the sixes that is a buy opportunity anytime anytime in the mid to low sevens those are great areas as well as you can see here from the 50 day even goes back that far these are opportunities so we're going to go over the recent news that came out for sos today we're on investorplace.com so sos stock why crypto mining play sos is plunging 15 percent today sos stock has fallen after the company announced a 25 million share offering Crypto mining and blockchain player SOS has been having a busy couple of weeks. 
Press releases from the company have covered a lot of the new business strategizing that has been moving the price of SOS stock. SOS is a Chinese tech company that provides a wide range of services. Recently, SOS has been entering the growing cryptocurrency market with its own crypto mining operation and blockchain offering. SOS stock has seen a nice boost in the last week after the company announced its intent to establish a digital asset exchange. Yesterday, the company announced its joint venture with Ronghe Finance to construct a supercomputing center in China. The announcement was great news for SOS as it saw plans to physically supplement the company's venture into cryptocurrency. The center will accomplish multiple goals, but most notably for SOS stockholders, it will establish support for cryptocurrency mining and blockchain assets. SOS stock down after most recent announcement. Even after all this good news, SOS stock is dipping. The losses are catalyzed by the company's most recent press release. The Rong He joint venture carries with it a significant financial burden for SOS. The construction of the computing center and the funding of the joint venture will cost the company about $5 million. This bill mounts on top of the other expenses the company's undertaking through its shift to crypto. The piling expenses are driving the company to announce a new public offering on SOS stock. The Tuesday morning press release by SOS announces the company's intent to offer 25 million American depository shares at $5 a share. The offering intends to finance a further development of the company's crypto mining network and it will also supplement expansion of the company's crypto insurance venture and other business dealings on top of general expenses. The announcement hasn't gone over too well with SOS shareholders. Many current owners of SOS stock fear dilution resulting from the offering. As a result, many investors are selling off shares, driving the price down by 15% this morning. Fears of overvaluation are making some weary of the announcement after an otherwise solid week for SOS. All right, so we're gonna be doing a technical analysis for SOS. Overall on the day, it was down 10.5%. 4% ended up hitting lows of $4.48 during regular trading hours and ended up hitting a high of $5.09. If we take into consideration the low inside the pre-market, it was $4.42 and on the high, it was $5.87. So of course, they ended up dropping the news today in regards to a direct offering. So we ended up having a strong sell-off as you can see here, right from nine o'clock, which was going down inside the pre. So one area that we need to pay attention to is this $4 range is a buying opportunity. You also had an opportunity to get this during regular trading hours at $4.50. These are areas where you need to buy. If you take a look down here at the RSI, it is literally in the 30 range. If you take a look at the pre-market, the RSI got down to as low as 9 right so as low as nine right there as you can see so these are definitely buying opportunities to consider especially for sos as the day started progressing we also can take notice of the fact that we did have some support here at the four dollars and 70 cents area which was also a resistance area in the early parts of the morning but then we ended up starting to get a run-up going into the close and we were able to finish at five dollars and one cent and as you can see, what's going down inside after hours at $5.09. So I'm very, very curious to see if SOS could finish the day above $5.10 and then begin to run up further. As we know, Bitcoin is doing fairly well and consolidating in a range where we like it. Now, if we take a look, what was the resistance area in regards to what was going down in regular trading hours? Definitely had some resistance here at the $4.95 area. So now we're going to take a look at the five day, five minute chart. And like I was saying, if we take a look at the most recent of trading days, look at this $4.42. The fact, the fact that it got down to this low and the news is not even all that bad. This was definitely a buying opportunity. Now, if we take a look at the three month, one day chart, of course, as you can see here, we ended up breaking trend because like I said, we were down 10% on the day so we could definitely see here we ended up having some support right at this 450 area so just knowing this this is a great way to know okay if it pulls back again 450 we know that's the area where it can rebound i'm seeing it going forward especially if bitcoin continues to start moving and it can get into that 60 range this week 
we can see start seeing some more upward movement for SOS. There's no doubt in my mind about it. And then start catching back up to the 50 day simple moving average. I could definitely see this happen. If it pulls back further, like I said, I will look for it to bounce off that 450 area. And if it pulls back even further than that, we already know we have some support right here at that $4 level as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to see what the, how the rest of this week pans out. And yeah, I'm still bullish on SOS and I still see some more room for movement. So for my final thoughts for SOS, I do not see this direct offering as a bad thing. Yes, your shares do get diluted, but at the same time, we already know this company had a joint venture recently and they're working on a lot of growth plans so they can cement their position in the blockchain cryptocurrency space. So if you do believe in this company, this should not bother you. Even if we take a look at the price action that happened, it went well below that $5 that we had for the direct offering. And what is that? That is a buying opportunity. You could use that to average down or you could have used it as a swing trade. Like I said, a direct offering is a lot better than hearing about a public offering. So that's something you need to be aware of and just know when we have these kind of overreactions in the market, that's when you take advantage of it. And for Hive, I'm telling you, this company has a lot of potential. The fact that they were up to date, that was something that was good to see. But we also need to realize as we were taking a look, when we went over that short interest, there's a lot of it. So there's going to be some slow market manipulated moves on this stock. The same thing that we experience and see with SOS. So please be aware of that. Ebon was also under this particular situation as well. So that's why I'm still remaining bullish on Hive since I'm bullish on Bitcoin and I know Ethereum is going to be running as well. Now, taking into consideration Ebon, seeing that Ebon was up on the day, that was great. Getting back into that $8 range, that's something that we love to see and it's giving us a nice setup when we take a look at it. As far as the dips that we saw today, we already know there's a lot of volatility in the market. So that's something that you just need to be prepared for. And if you believe in these companies or whether you're trading off of swings, you need to know what the support, what the resistance areas are. I also want to put in the disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So when you do invest, just know that you're doing it at your own risk. Another thing before I sign off with this video, if we take a look at the big players in this space, like Mara, Mara's been running up. We take a look at Riot. Riot's been looking strong very as well. So one of the things when we take a look at that, these are two stocks that don't deal with as much manipulation as the other stocks that we talk about on this channel. So the fact that they're moving, it's going to take a little bit more time for these stocks that we actually talk about. So this is why patience is very, very key. And if you are bullish like I am on Bitcoin, then you really have nothing to worry about. So that ends the video. I'll be talking to you guys real soon. Peace.